Now, we don't talk about it enough, but long COVID is real in children, and it's affecting their ability to grow, learn, and thrive. Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and happy Monday, June 16, 2025. While long COVID happens when a child continues to have symptoms lasting three months or more after a COVID-19 infection, some children never fully recover between episodes. Others feel better only to have their symptoms return or even new ones appear later. There's a new study that I'm reporting on uh, today by researchers from NYU and Columbia uh, that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics on May 27, 2025. And it confirms that long COVID may affect 10 to 20% of children who've had COVID. That could mean nearly 6 million children in the United States. That's more than the number living with asthma. Now, symptoms vary widely by age and can affect many parts of the body. I'm just going to report on what the article said. Infants and toddlers zero to two can have trouble sleeping, poor appetite, stuffy nose, dry or wet cough as symptoms. Preschool children between the ages of three to five years can have daytime sleepiness or tiredness, low energy, dry cough. School age children uh, five to 11 years can have memory issues, trouble focusing, dizziness or lightheadedness, stomach ache, back or neck pain, trouble sleeping, nausea or vomiting, fear of specific things, refusing to go to school, itchy skin or rash. Whereas adolescents between the ages of 12 and 17 years can have memory and concentration problems, dizziness or headaches, loss of change in smell or taste, body joint or muscle pain, fatigue, especially after walking, low energy or daytime sleepiness. Now we have to remember that there is no cure for long COVID, but physicians may recommend medications and lifestyle changes to manage these symptoms and prevent flare-ups. Bottom line, if your child is having lingering symptoms after COVID and you don't know what to do, speak to your pediatrician. It's not in your head, folks. These could be symptoms of long COVID. So talk to your pediatrician, uh, do your research, and I hope that this video is helpful. I'll be sure to include the link uh, to the article. Take care, folks, and be well.